guys so i am back with another video this one was actually requested this video is just going to be about how to save money as a student which is actually really really important because i guess like sometimes we get advice for it but sometimes people just assume we'll know and going from like a sixth form or to a college student to a university student is a whole nother ball game it's not the same you're going to be paying for rent you're going to be paying maybe for electricity there's just going to be other things that you never had to pay for before that you're going to have to pay for i'm going to start this video with the first biggest advice is before you do anything before you buy a rave ticket before you buy clothes before you splash your money make sure that you pay all your bills so that includes your rent electricity bills just especially rent like that is the top one because you don't want to be chased down or threatened to be kicked out and because like when you don't pay your rent on time they you usually use your parent as a guarantor and then they'll be contacting your parent and sending like threats of court stuff and that you just don't want that scare so just pay all of that especially because rent is usually like done in um i think like three months installments so it's better that you just pay off that chunk as soon as you get your student loan or any type of money pay that off so that you don't even have to think about that that's gone and then and then you can be more realistic with yourself with what money you've got left over so yeah please guys pay your bills first then you can like worry about going to the shopping center or whatever or however you're going to spend your money then the next thing I would say is that as a student, make sure you take advantage of student discount. Whether you're going to plan to go out, just check if you can use your student discount and if you're going to buy clothes. Sometimes like they offer 20% off which is great, like the usual amount is 10% anyway but just keep an eye out for deals and stuff. At uni, money just comes and it goes. So it's just better to be careful you just don't want to be in a situation of stress obviously sometimes yes you're gonna to have to ask your parents for help but you don't want to be constantly asking your parents for help or or if you're like the type of people that don't even like asking their parents for help it's better to just be safe than sorry so yeah that's the second tip just look out for student deals so that if you want to go out for friends to eat meals check if they offer discount the third thing i would say is when you are going out do not go overboard yeah of course you want to have fun while you're at uni but you have to remember at the end of the day you're a student you can't do everything you want yeah there's going to be raves or events and stuff that you want to go to just be careful when you're choosing stuff that you want to go to it does this actually look good is this is this worth it just don't go to everything and anything just for the sake of it still have fun so yeah, just like choose your events wisely. Don't just go because you feel like, oh, you have to go or stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, when you haven't got that, haven't got money in your account and there's, your friends have maybe pressured you to go out somewhere. It's just like, now what? So just try to like, also see if there's events that are free that are going on because sometimes uni offers like movie nights if you join up for um, societies as well all you'd have to do is like pay the unjoining fee you pay that and then you're entitled to go to a lot of their events sometimes they will ask you to maybe pay a little bit to go to the event but it'll always be discounted because you're a member have fun you can have movie nights at home it's not always that you have to go to the cinema but obviously it going out as well is really really nice and vibe like it's not every time stay at home so i understand but just try to make a balance between the two just not always going out and another thing i would say food shopping i had like a bit of difficulty with this because i'm like an impulse buyer like if, I, if I'm hungry as well and I want something, I'll just go to the shop and like Tesco Extra end up picking up loads of things that probably cost, okay not loads of things, but like a few things that cost 
like 20 pounds these things are not even gonna last me it could be a packet of crisps it could be just something like that go on websites like asda sainsbury everyone has their own shop they're more used to or they prefer to remember what your parents have bought at home or if you yourself cooked at home what shops did you used to go to remember those shops those are the shops that you can stick to by going online or if you've got like a bigger shop down the road not like an extra because tesco extras sainsbury's locals they are usually more expensive than like going online so just try to find a shop that you're familiar with to go online and delivery is not usually that expensive but if you have one near you sure great go to it so like when you're shopping don't just put anything in your basket see what you can make a meal out of what can you can use again and what you could even have for like breakfast lunch and dinner what you can make in bulk just you just have to be like really really like heads on so <laughs> something i found out the hard way at uni was actually textbooks i literally spent so much on textbooks only to find out that some textbooks we don't use a little bit some that we we use a lot maybe and some that were in the library that i didn't even have to go out of my way to buy and then the books are not even like cheap they can be like 20 pounds each or even more so just have a look at your modules see what books are on there and see if you really 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 can't get at the library or if you know that you're going to lose lose use it a lot look and just compare prices online amazon ebay you can get it second hand and it's just better that way and um, just try to not buy it. if you're going to buy some books that's fine but don't buy all of them there's a library for that some unis i don't know if all's the same but at leicester uni if there was a book that wasn't available i could actually request for the uni to get it in or if there wasn't enough of the book i could request so that's another thing to keep in mind also at uni like when you're taking out books at the library i wouldn't recommend to take it out straight away well it depends but sometimes you may think that's the best option but i found that when i requested it like when i took out the books too soon i didn't even have the chance to read it and then someone would recall that book they would someone request to have that book so i didn't even get the chance to read it but i had to return it before i got library fines so it was kind of annoying because it's like I got that book first but that person was going to read it in time. So just think about stuff like that. Make sure your timing's on point if you're going to like get it from the library and there's not a lot of supplies of that book. If you can, it's great to get a job while at uni. First year, I think if it's, a, it's nice to have a job. Personally, I think it was quite good that I didn't have a job in first year because I got the chance to like kind of ease into the uni experience and have more time. But if, if needs be, then get a job. <laughs> if, especially if you're already working now, I would definitely say try to look in to see if you can get a transfer to whatever university area you're going to. And yeah if not try to save up in the summer before going to uni or before going back to uni if you're in second or third year third year i wouldn't really really recommend getting a job but then again it's down to you as an individual if you can handle and balance it then definitely by all means do it and if you know you can't if you know that workloads can be a bit much for you sometimes then just try to save in the summer beforehand get a summer job and just try to make the most of your time so that you can have all the time to study. Okay, overdraft. <laughs> Before I came to uni, I did not know what that was. I was just thinking, what? I was thinking, what is that? Free money? Yes and no. It's, it's not free money, but it's free of interest for a certain amount of period, depending on what bank you go to especially. But as a student, you would get free of interest for three years, at least, overdraft. So overdraft, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's basically, the bank gives you a certain amount of money which you can borrow. It's technically, it's yours, but it's not yours to keep. So you have to pay it back eventually. 
whichever bank you're on they'll have the terms of when you should pay it back and etc but with my bank I was with Lloyd's so I've been with them for three years and the starting overdraft limit was I think 500 pounds and you could up it up it up it to I think the maximum's 2000 often like you graduate you can have it to 2000 for the first year and then I think for the second year after you graduate you have to reduce it and then you reduce it for the third year and then no more interest free but yeah so with overdraft what I would advise is that it is very very helpful especially when you know money is going to come in but you haven't got it at that certain amount of time so you can use that as like a safety net when you're choosing your overdraft I think if you can, when you can choose your overdraft limit, make sure that it's a limit that suits you. Don't go overboard, but if you know that you can manage that amount, so if you um, increase it to 2000 but you know that you can cover that or you'll have money to keep it in check and balance, then that's fine. Overdraft is all based on you, but do not now think, oh my gosh, free money, let me spend it all. <laughs> Do not do that. <laughs> Overdraft, use it as a safety net, use it for if you need money to help you with something and you know that you'll be able to cover it. Just don't rely on it like extremely. You need sometimes we're tempted to spend money that we don't have. Like you're just thinking, oh like especially when they with all these student discounts, I mean who wouldn't want to spend money? Like come on. But when you're buying something, always think, I have like a really good rule for myself. If I can't buy it three times, I'm not gonna buy it. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this is not a rule that I've always applied to myself. There have been times where I've been very, very reckless and I would say that in uni I became a bit of a shopaholic, but I'm speaking from experience, so this is advice that I'm giving to you guys. I was never at a point where I was, oh my gosh, I have no more money, but, I wasn't as careful as I could have been. So please do not go overboard with the shopping and don't buy stuff just to look, you know, like, oh, I've got money, all of this. No, we're all students. Like, yeah, some people may have more money than others, but that's fine. Like, we're all in our own lane. We're all, you know, at the end of the day, you're trying to impress people. You've impressed them, but now your account is not impressed with you. You don't want that. So, yeah just be really like careful don't don't make impulse impulse purchases like maybe every once in a while like you see something you like fine fair enough treat yourself but do it according to the money that you have and you know that you have coming in so if you know that you're gonna have money coming in fair enough you can spend it and just write lists write lists of things so you can kind of see where your money's going, don't just spend it. Um, yeah, yes, I forgot to mention. Like with textbooks as well, there's a lot of books that you can get um, PDF file versions of them or online copies. So that's another thing to look out for. You just, just have to be on job, just looking for all these second options, backups, so that you're not just stuck and limited to one. Okay guys, so those are few of my uni tips I hope they have been helpful but please 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 if you've got any of your own please comment below because you don't know who you could be helping I might have missed out something so please comment below and if you've liked this video please thumbs up like comment and subscribe thank you and good luck with your education thank you guys for watching